What's up guys? Jason Browse booth with Mr. Jason Browse. How you doing? Blade Show 2014, having an awesome time. How's the show been so far? It's going good. Yeah, yeah it's going good. Getting a lot of good feedback and that's that's crucial. You know? yeah. That's why we come to the shows. Absolutely. Um, we're going to talk about some new stuff for 2014. Uh, just did a uh, video on the VR71. What an awesome, awesome knife. Thank you. Just, uh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Take something that's really nice design, but really kind of perfected all the little nuances. It's just very cool. Thank you very much. But we're interested in hearing some new stuff. Actually, I'm going to show you got the uh, the empty case. Why? Because everyone likes the Jason Brown stuff. And of all knives, the one knife that I did bring is the Silent Soldier. Right. So, the Ranger. Anyway, I'm actually going to show some really cool pictures of his new stuff right now while Jason talks about it a little bit. So uh, first we'll start off with the Mini Division. Um, we've done the Mini Division before, but we did it in G10 and stainless steel. And we're now coming out with a carbon fiber and titanium. Um, same D2 blade riding on ball bearings. Um, with standoffs in the back, reversible pocket clip. Um, next would be the Strife. That is a Dustin Turpin collaboration. Um, we got carbon fiber scales, titanium liners, also D2 blade, also on our ball bearings. Um, G10 backspacer, and then we have the two pieces of G10. We have a piece of titanium sandwich in between the two pieces. So Dustin's really, he's known for his ingenious backspacers and really cool designs. So. Next we have the uh, Sal Monero collaboration knife. Um, that one also has carbon fiber scales, titanium liners, and a D2 steel blade. Um, we got the checkering backspacer. We got his approval for it today, so we are good to go to start the production run. Um, the, that's called, that knife is called the Sinner, and those will be available around September. Um, the Strife will also be av available around that time. The Mini Division will be available in about a month or so. Next is the VR71, which Jeff's already done a uh, review on. Um, same uh, configuration, titanium liners, carbon fiber scales, D2 blade, ball bearings, black G10 backspacer, and then we added a, uh, a lanyard loop in there for people. And then next we got the Bionic. Um, Jeff's also done a uh, review on that, but this is the Bionic Automatic. Um, these have a very strong spring. The blade is about a little over three inches long. Um, aluminum scales. And uh, yeah, we're excited to release that one. That one should be available around August. And then last is the multi-tool that's made out of D2 steel. It's heat treated to 60 Rockwell. Um, we went over it in SHOT Show, but the features are a bottle opener, seatbelt cutter, different bolt size pattern. You got the pry bar, nail puller, and screwdriver. And it can also be used as a self-defense weapon if needed, and it fits nicely on a keychain. Awesome. Very cool stuff, Jason. You know, appreciate your time as always. And, you, know, you have a strong following for a reason. You make really good stuff, but above all, you're a really good person. Thank Customer you. service is great, and you really do listen to what people want. Exactly. And that's what matters. So, once again, awesome seeing you at yeah. the show. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Hope you it. enjoy the rest of the show. Me too. Uh, I, mean, I know I'm coming back next year. This is uh, the place to be, definitely. And, a little secret, I like this more than Shot. Yeah. Even though Shot's in Vegas. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Take care.